Hello everyone. So now we're starting off with a new topic, which is inventory valuation. So in this topic, we'll look at different methods to value inventory. And these different methods will have implication in terms of value of your assets, value of your profits. So we need to learn how to calculate these value of inventories and how to value the profit and assets using these methods. Now, usually goods are purchased over different time periods. What that means is that if you're buying a good, let's say in January, and then you're buying a good in, in February with inflation, you can expect the prices to change. So there would be different prices and that would make your valuation of, a, of inventory a bit more difficult or complex. So it would be very convenient for us if let's say January to December, we get goods at the same price. But in reality, that does not happen because prices keep on changing due to several factors. One of them is obviously inflation. Now, we need to learn how to value our inventory. This value of inventory should include the value of your finished goods as well as work in progress. There are different ways which are specified as to how we can value inventory. The first one that I will talk about is the first in first out method. This method assumes that items that are purchased first will be sold first. So this method makes a simple assumption. So if you, if you buy a good in January and then you buy a good in Feb, but you will first sell the good that was purchased in January and then you will sell the good that was purchased in Feb. So so first and first out will simply keep a record of different purchases and sales and then a running balance will help us in calculating the value of inventory. We will illustrate that very soon in the coming video. Okay, another way how inventory could be valued is called last and first out method. As the name implies, this method assumes that the items that were purchased last, the most recent item will be sold first. So, so now while selling goods, if you have purchased a good in January and you've purchased a good in Feb and let's say you're selling a good in March. So you will first sell the unit that was purchased in February and then you will move to Jan. So last in first out. Now this method is not widely used or accepted and only few countries allow to use this method. This has profit implications as well, which we will discuss at the end of this video. Now, first and first out, if I were to state the advantages before I state method number three, first and first out basically helps us in valuing inventory at the most recent price. So your current asset value of inventory, the, the closing inventory will be based on the most recent price as well, which goes with fair value accounting as well. Inventory valuation is based on actual prices. So you're using actual, actual prices to value your inventory. The assumption that oldest items are sold first follows logic because the item that was purchased first should be sold first. So this is a logical method, which is why it is frequently used. Now, another method, which is also frequently used besides first and first out is called the weighted average cost method or AFCO. Now, under this method, what we do is all goods are valued at an average cost. So if you have purchased a good in January, February, March, April, we, we tend to calculate an average price for these goods. All right. So the average price can be calculated as follows. You will take the value of inventory plus all the items purchased, and you will divide that by the number of units. This will give you an average price for all units. So this method assumes that all units are identical and hence they should be valued at an average price. All right, which is also an advantage of the AFCO method. So frequently the first and first out and the AFCO method are used and companies very often decide this ba based on the characteristics of their business model, the way inventory looks like, inventory valuation, which one gives a realistic picture. All right, now while valuing inventory, Firms use different methods to keep a record of their goods. We can use the perpetual method and the periodic method. The difference over here is under the perpetual method, a detailed record keeping is kept where every purchase and sale transaction is recorded. Whereas under the periodic method, inventories are usually calculated at the end of the financial period or at the end of the financial year. So it's an easier way to calculate under the periodic method and you just value the inventory on the last day. 
Perpetual method is a more detailed record keeping method, whereas a periodic method is an easier way or a quicker way to arrive at the value of your inventory. We need to learn how to calculate inventory using both methods, which we shall do in the coming videos. Okay, now what are the implications? Let's talk about the implications on profits and assets. Now, differences in inventory valuation will also lead to a different value for the profit because closing inventory becomes a part of your income statement. It goes in the cost of goods sold. Now, what happens is first in first out should give you the highest profit followed by AFCO and followed by last in first out. The reason should be obvious under first in first out, the cheapest good is being sold first. And what you're left with is the most expensive one or the most recent one, which is why your cost of goods sold includes all the previous or the older units, which were at a lower price. So the profit under first in first out should be the highest. Last in first out actually sells the most expensive units first. So the profit under last and first out should be lower because the most expensive units are being sold first and your closing inventory would actually include the cheapest unit or the oldest unit. AFCO would lie somewhere in the middle. One of the reasons why last and first out is not accepted around the world is that it results in a lower profit, which can help companies in reducing the amount of tax they pay off to the government. All right, but we should always remember first and first out will give you a higher profit than AFCO, which should give you a higher profit than last and first out. Similarly, it will also have implications on the value of your inventory. First and first out should give you the highest value of inventory because it includes the latest items which are at the highest price. So the most expensive units are unsold. That's the first and first out inventory. Last and first out has the cheapest unit or the oldest units as unsold inventory and AFCO again lies in the middle. So if you can expect under first and first out your profit and asset value will be higher. Whereas under last and first out your profit and asset value will be lower and AFCO should be somewhere in the middle since it's valued at an average price.